In this problem, we have to use the direct comparison test to show that the series either converges or diverges. So first, you need to have a little bit of intuition. So you'll notice that uh, the 5 is irrelevant. So for big values of n, you can pretty much ignore the constants. So you can think of this term here as pretty much this here. And this 3 is not really going to matter, so this is pretty much this. So this sum is pretty much a p-series with p equals 3, which is bigger than 1, so it should converge. So intuition tells us that we can only worry about the terms of highest degree. We can only decide to care about those. So we can ignore everything else, and it's kind of like 1 over n cubed. So this should behave like a p-series, in particular a convergent one, because p is 3 which is bigger than 1. So that means we have to show convergence. So what we'll do is we'll start by writing down this piece here, and we have to show that this is less than the a sub n of a convergent series. So this is less than 1 over 3n cubed. We're allowed to do that because this fraction is smaller than this fraction because this piece here on the bottom is bigger than this piece, right? You're adding a 5 here, so the bottom here is bigger than the bottom here, so this fraction is smaller than this one. You can also drop the 3 now, because, again, this fraction is smaller than this one, because 3n cubed is bigger than n cubed, so this fraction is smaller than this one. So we have that this is less than this, and then now we have to explain why the sum of these terms converges. So and the sum as n runs from 1 to infinity of 1 over n cubed converges by the p-test. So by the p-test since p equals 3 which is bigger than 1. So we've satisfied the conditions of the direct comparison test. We have that this is less than this, and this is a convergent series. Therefore, this is also a convergent series by the direct comparison test. So thus, our original series, I'll just say OG, OG means original series, converges by the, and I'll just say DCT, direct comparison test. So it's really important when you're working through these problems to carefully justify the conditions. Remember, the direct comparison test says if you have two series, say a sub n and b sub n, and if a sub n is positive and it's less than or equal to b sub n for all n, then if the b's converge, the a's converge. So if, a, if the a's are less than the b's and the sum of the b's converges, then the sum of the a's will converge. So here, this is our a sub n, this is our b sub n, the sum of the b's converges, therefore the sum of the a's converge as well. That should make sense. If something bigger converges, then something smaller should also, should also converge. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.